Hi, welcome to The Child's View. Today we are going to talk about choosing a child development center. So this is really geared towards parents, but um, with Sharon Brown and Dr. Bernadette Towns, we hope we have some good advice for you. So um, choosing a child development center can be kind of scary, and oftentimes mm -hmm. it's a decision that's made um, in haste, mm -hmm. right? Yes. I really need a center. This That's is the closest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know this person, or somebody <laughs> said this is a good place. But you really need to choose one that is in line with what you believe, what yeah. you want for your children, True. what you believe is important for your family. Um, you, you want to look at their philosophy. So, what is their approach? What yeah. do they believe is important for children, and how they should be educated, how they should be cared for? Mm -hmm. um, that is first and foremost. Um, but according to childcare.gov, Gov, you need to start early. Mm. So you start early, you start looking. If you have access to the internet, you can research centers. Um, you can even plug in some keywords from you know your own beliefs. It may be you want a private center that is mm. Christian based or religious right. based, yeah. faith based. You may want a public center. You may want Head Start. Um, maybe you recognize the title of a child development center, but do some research first. Um, then you want to get informed, find out about that center, make a call and go in and inter interview somebody. Interview the director, look at the classrooms, see what the relationship looks mm -hmm. like between yeah. teachers and children, so um, visit, ask questions, um, make a choice. So once you make your choice, stay involved. Yes. Stay involved. Centers should be um, asking you to be involved. If they're not, that's a red flag. So mm -hmm. you definitely want to stay involved. Yeah. What do you think, ladies? I know um, when I, with my children, because I didn't have family in California because mm -hmm. I'm from the East Coast, it was very hard because, you know, children, especially when they're young, mm -hmm. they can't talk. They can't right. tell you somebody did something to them or, mm -hmm. or I don't so like just her. the She's fears, nice. yeah, yeah, the fears of, you know, um, is my child going to be safe in this place? Mm -hmm. And um, I, I remember because with my first one, I actually was, uh, actually it wasn't the first one. <laughs> it was probably like number four by then. But uh, <laughs> but I had just started. They all being, run together. Yeah, exactly. I was just uh, starting to be a professor at uh, Bakersfield College mm -hmm. and I ended up putting her at the center there. <laughs> nice. And I was in there between every class, just making sure that right. she was safe and she was, and it's really, you know, you do want to take that time to make sure that you're comfortable with the staff, that you're right. comfortable with um, the way that they're doing things. Because if you don't uh, feel comfortable, you're going to be at work half, ha your mind right. half, half here, focused. half there. You're not going to be focused. Right. It's not going to be good for you all right. the time. You also need to think about, do you want it center-based or do you want a home-based right. Oh, program? yes. Right. Because there's there's a whole difference there. Right. Like fam yeah. More family like in that yes. home based setting. Smaller group um, size. Smaller group size. Yep. Um, but you also want to do the same things there. You want to be able to visit. You want to be able to talk yes. to them. You want to see mm -hmm. what what's going on in action. I was a director for many many years of a very large center. Like corporate and, child care. Right. Um, yes. And uh, I always told my parents when they first came in to register the children, I want you to take a tour first, I want you to talk to the teachers first, I want you to do this. Nice. I'm not going to just stop you here at the desk and let you register. I want you to see what's going on. It's really yeah. important. And, and when I was, when I had young children, I, I went back to work and I needed to find some place quickly. Mm. And I didn't, at the time I, I wasn't in child development, I was an executive secretary um, for an oil company and I needed to find care. Wow. I yeah, didn't I know. know that. I know. Wow. <laughs> I know. We learned something new. <laughs> I know. Yep. I can take dictation. <laughs> but um, I needed to find that center really fast yeah. and so I um, did what most people do. Well, not now, but it was a yellow pages. You could remember that? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was, a, it was a telephone book. Mm -hmm. Right. It, it, actually had yellow pages. That's why it was called the Yellow Pages. <laughs> anyway, I found a, a, a center that was close, convenient to where on my travel route right, to work. To work. Mm. Um, it had a name that caught my eye. Mm. Sounded like a good place. Sounded like the place yeah. I needed to be. And so I called and they said, well, I said, I'd like to take a tour of your facility. Well, you need to make an appointment. That at that moment should have been the red flag. Mm -hmm. uh, I should be able to walk in. I should be able to walk and in. And yes. be comfortable with And yeah. <clears throat> so I ended up not taking my children there. I ended up postponing my my job for two weeks 
good because for you. I needed to find that good place, and I found a place that that was um, comfortable for me. But that red flag. So when I became a director, yeah. one of the things that I did was I never made appointments. Mm. You drop in anytime. You if it's yes. nap time, yes. we'll tell you it's nap Transparency. time, and you can yeah. look through the observation window. But yeah. if my my thought is, if you have to make an appointment. Yeah. What's going They're on? They're fixing stuff. Right. Why well, do I have fixing to it? Yeah. a specific time? Yeah. 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 You're going to see something yeah. really good. Yeah. And what happens the rest of the time? Right. Exactly. Right. And when parents come, they should look for a natural flow. There should be a natural yeah. flow in the classroom, relationships among children, between mm -hmm. children and teachers. Um, you can usually tell if things look mm -hmm. like they're staged. Yeah. Right? Oh, and, yeah. And one of the key things is how long the teachers have been there. They've been there a long time. It usually tells you that it's a good facility. Yeah. It's a good program. Mm -hmm. They value the teachers, which then says they value children and families. Right. So, we, and, you know, I was thinking that you should also think about um, the chi your child. Mm -hmm. right. Because it could be a great center. And I've had this because we had a, a preschool once upon a time and I was the director of it. And we had a child who just, he, he was better off in the home base right. because it was a smaller setting. Right. The big yeah. center based open space was too much too for him. Too it was too overwhelming. <clears throat> and we talked to the parent. We said, you know, we just, we think that he would be happy with a small group. Mm -hmm. Can you find a small home base center? Mm -hmm. Because right. that's going to be better for him than this this setting. And it's yeah. not that we you know we think your kid's a great kid. It's just that he's not thriving with mm -hmm. so many people and well, so much stimuli. Not right. every child is ready is right. is equal to every center. Mm -hmm. Not every center is right for every child. Exactly. Right. And so that's why you have to ask those questions. But you said something, Becky, about. The philosophies matching. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's really important. Right. Okay. Right. Really and important. A philosophy is really just the the philosophy or the view that the center has about children and how they believe they learn right. and yes. grow. Yes. And you want to make sure it's in line with your ideas. And I think one of the biggest um, concerns for families is like, okay, this is good information, but where do I start? Right? Where right. do I start? How do I find the philosophy? Right. How do I find the center? Well, right. in Kern County, we have Community uh, Connection for Child Care right. as a resource, but you can also check on Current Early Stars right. mm -hmm. website. And Current Early Stars is a program you probably can share a lot more because you used to be part of Current Early Stars. <laughs> but um, it actually was funded by the federal government, and every state has kind of a an early stars or rating system. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a county, quality rating. It's a quality rating, mm -hmm. yeah. And they mm -hmm. give stars based right. on their quality. And right. so if you're looking for four and five stars, that's usually a good center. They've Correct. been observed, they've been coached, Correct. you were coached. Correct. And Correct. so that's another place to look. And there's family child care. Right. And I know it's not just No, it's not just center based. Yeah. It's family child care right. as and well. Private? That can be that can and be private. part of the yeah. quality um, rating or quality improvement system. Uh, right. Every county has a resource and referral yeah. agency. Right. right. Like community so, connection. Yeah. yeah, like community connection. So parents can start there. They have a list of all licensed facilities, both yeah. center and home based, mm. so that parents can right. then look at that. And they have um, a system that links them, so like they know yes. the centers have, which centers have spaces. Yes. And so they can yes. you don't have to call five and realize they're all full. Right. Um, you can say, okay, these three are available. They kind of meet right. they're in line with what I believe. That's right. Yeah. You can also call the state community care mm -hmm. licensing right. and see if that particular center or that home base has got any violations. Oh, okay. Are right. they <clears throat> fix it violations type B's right. or are they, they type serious? A's? Right. Are they serious? Right. Yeah. And how many they've had and when they've had them. Right. Yep. Yep. So there's wow. lots of good resources to help yes. families. One of the things that I love, and this is a little bit elaborate, but is take a checklist. Oh, right. Oh. The kinds of things you're looking for. You can Google a checklist oh, yeah. on the internet. And so you can kind of just check it off when you go in. Mm -hmm. Because many times you go in and you're like, okay, where do I start? Mm -hmm. I was supposed to ask questions. What questions? <laughs> and True. so sometimes having a checklist in hand or your yeah. questions ready can really you know. be helpful teaching the administration class for many years, one of the things I have my students do is create a virtual center. And one of the things that they do is create a checklist to give parents nice. questions yeah. to ask parents, or for parents to ask the center when they come in. Yeah. 
Um, first one is always, does it appear clean and safe mm -hmm. when you first walk in? Mm -hmm. Does it smell good? Does it look good? Is there, right. is it, does it look child safe and does it look yeah. child friendly? friendly? Is there things for children there? Right. right. So that's number one for all parents when they're looking yeah. for those types right. of things. How do you feel when you walk into that yes. environment? Yes, yeah. you know when you walk into an environment that you're uncomfortable with. Right. So if, it, if you're comfortable, if that feels like home when you walk in, then go to the next question. Yeah, What's yeah. your philosophy? What do you believe? I want my child to learn through play. Is that what you do? Right. I want my child to be more academically based. Is that what you do? Right. Right. Because if they don't match, that partnership's not going to match. And the child's not going to be happy. The parent's not going to be happy. The right. center's not going to be happy because they're struggling. Right. So. Right. Good and points. center should always include the families. So Absolutely. there should be a strong component for getting you into the classroom, yes. having an open door, That's right. asking you to help with policy development yeah. and curriculum and volunteering and mm -hmm. so on. Yeah. So, All right, folks. Well, that was a great conversation. Yeah. So um, to wrap it up, we were discussing how to um, choose a child development center or program. Um, there are lots of resources out there on the Internet. Um, Community Connection for Child Care in Kern County, and then EarlyStars.org. What was the other one you mentioned? Community or community um, referral agencies in all counties. Yeah, yeah. So we have referral agencies in all counties, but community yeah. care licensing. Community oh, care one, licensing. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> yep. That's so, a big one. Yes, big one. <laughs> Take your checklist. Um, and then give yourself some time to choose a good yes. center. Don't just choose the one closest to you. Choose one that's in line with what you believe. Thank you, and we hope to see you next time on The Child's View.